Ange, and welcome to the very first episode of On a Cure in Iraq. I'm here in the beautiful city of Marrakesh in Morocco, and as you can see behind me, we're in a suit. So what we're gonna do here on this visit is we're gonna visit some of the merchants, look at some of the spices, some of the flowers, some clays, anything and everything that I can take back to my studio of Philadelphia and make something very special for you guys. So what this is all about is travel. I'm marrying both things that I love to do, making soap and traveling. This is going to be a little bit different than some of the other soap and shows that you may see on YouTube in that I will actually go to these places, visit them, actually physically buy the stuff, speak with the merchants, find out what makes it special, and then take it home and make a collection just for you. So everything you see here and everything that I bring home will be the Marrakesh collection. So stay tuned. Hi everyone, this is Nigella. It's good for uh, sinus and all problem uh, uh, respiration. And this also good for skin. We can make it with soap and we, can, we have also the oil. It's good for hair and skin. And I <laughs> He's gonna tell me exactly what this pigment is and where it's from in Morocco. Nice to meet you. Hello, America. How are you today? This one is the rose of Marcona. Marcona is a small city in Morocco on the west side. Uh, it's made uh, from naturally rose. Uh, that's it. That's it. Uh, this is coloring for making soap, for making other things. All right. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, it gives him a chance to like this, to work with us, so they give him one. Now the cosmetic. The cosmetic one, no smell. No smell, okay. Also, not crazy. Not greasy, yes. yes. It it's absorbs. Gre greasy, not pure one other one. Just mix it with another one. Okay. And try it a little bit for you. Huh? So which one do you use in the hair? Um, uh, cosmetic. This, yes, cosmetic. this one. Okay. Uh, lots of people buy argan oil. One argan oil for hair, the second argan oil for skin. No, but the pure one you use it for the hair and skin, sir. Okay. okay. And do you use it after you wash? No, use it just at night, two times in week. Uh -huh. After sleeping, just a little bit, you use it like massage in your hair. Uh -huh. But also you put it in your shampoo. Okay. And you mix it. Or the ones with your shampoo. Okay. Also, you use it every night for your face. Okay. Hair and for your hands. Okay, I'm here with my friend Ali, and he's going to tell us about some of the flowers that he has here at his shop in Marrakesh. First, we have here oregano. Okay. You can just for the oregano. Oh, oregano. It's oregano. This one is hibiscus. Hibiscus. We use it for this is the African tea. That's the African tea. This is pomegranate. We use it for the hair, for the stomach problems. Here is this is roses. Here this is roses. This is uh, this we use just for decoration. Okay, mm -hmm. just for the decoration. It's very nice for decoration in the bath. Or in the house, or you use this one for nice smell, or for example, we use this one as a roses. This is the moss, the moss. Mm -hmm. We use it for hair. This is the, we call it Berber shampoo. Berber, Berber shampoo. shampoo. The Berber shampoo. So, how do you actually, how do you make a tea out of it? And do you. No, we don't make tea, just make infusion in the water. And then you use the water to. Yes, for the that's hair. right, yeah. Some people they, they, they mix this one with the, 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 the argy, the, the rasul. Okay. The, the clay that you, you taught me before. So you make an infusion with hot water, then you yeah. take that hot water, yeah. you mix it with the Russell clay, and then yes. you put it in the hair and the skin. That's right. Okay. And then here is this is 
this is just a, this is a flower, we call it toothpick. Flower is named is name toothpick because this is good. After we eat, we can just take one like this for and clean the teeth. teeth. Yeah. <laughs> And this is the this is the indi. This is good for hair. And hen yeah, yeah. henna. Yeah. For henna, the henna. That's henna. Right. Yeah. Oh, so this we is henna this flower. For, for for hair, for make tattoos. Here, the women here, for example, there are women are especially just for working for grain this one. Okay. okay. So after, this is after after to get the powder. Here is the powder. So we can use it for hair. We use it for tattoos. Here is for this one, for example, I read up in the package for tattoos. This one is lemongrass. Okay, for the teeth. This is uh, for the eyes. Uh, coal. Coal for the eyes. Okay. This one. After we grind this one, we get this powder. After you put here in this bottle, you use this stick, okay, for the eyes, okay. okay. And this is cinnamon. This blue indigo. That's that's black salt, olive salt, bahama. This one for scrubbing, kind of nice. This is a pumice stone, pumice stone, this one is pumice stone too. Okay, so it's very easy, it's just a plant under the earth. This is wild cumin for the tea. It's lavender. So it's this for, is wild cumin. Yeah, wild cumin. That's yeah. what that looks like. Yeah. Okay. This is lavender. We also use it for good for wash the body. The mm -hmm. lavender. Here is rosemary for making infusions for prep digestion or uh, for example for the people who have problem Christ and the heart we mm -hmm. use the rosemary is very nice this one. Especially if you mix it with the wild cumin. This is thyme. Mm -hmm. Okay, the thyme also use it for people who have diabetes or we use the, the thyme. The yeah, this is chamomile. Mm -hmm. It's very good to make infusion and the water is very good for uh, against stress, for calm down. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is also for the tea. For tea, is kind of, this one is we call peppermint. This is normal mint. Okay, okay, but the bottle could mint mean tea. Okay? okay, this is the herbs I told you before. This is very easy. This is alum stone. It's okay. very good for after shape. Today we'll be having my very first hamam experience here in Marrakesh. What it is, it's a play on a Turkish bathhouse, an ancient, you know, community bathing experience. What I will be doing today though is partaking in one here in the old Medina in Marrakesh. What it involves is steaming the bathing experience, trying to get all the you know toxins released out the body, soften up the skin. The second part is taking traditional Marrakesh Moroccan black soap and using a loofah type mitt to exfoliate your whole body. Now I won't be doing this myself. What it is is that they actually have someone, an attendant, who does this for you. So while you stand there pretty much in but naked glory, they scrub you from head to toe and reach in place you didn't even know existed. From there, we will move on to steaming and splashing with the cold and hot water alternating to open and close the pores. We'll finish it up with an argan oil body massage and a Russell Clay body wrap mask. I finally made it to the mom here in Marrakesh. As you can see, I'm just in my robe, I got my paper panties on, and getting ready to see what all the hype's about. Stay tuned, I'll be back. Just finish and out at the spa um, for my home mom. As you can see, you know, hair is a little bit wild, but what I can say is that it definitely lives up to its hype. I didn't spend about three hours here getting a traditional hammam, getting the Russell clay wrap, getting a scrub down with the Moroccan black soap, getting a massage for an hour, getting a facial for an hour, and just relax and drinking mint tea and absorbing everything this place has to offer. If you ever get a chance in any city around the world to visit a hammam or a Turkish bath like they like to call it, do it. So I'm back again. It's the day after my hammam experience. I'm back in the suits in the Medina of Marrakesh. Right now, I am on a hunt for the famous black soap. The stuff is so amazing. My skin is still soft, supple, and baby smooth from yesterday. And you know what? Why not bring it home to you guys? After searching miles and miles of the mazes in the suits, I finally found the wow, infamous black out. soap. So here it is. It's made with 100% olive oil, and it gets a nice, dark, rich black color from the actual paste that is left over from pressing the olive oil from it. So they take the property that's left over from the paste, instead of throwing it out, they incorporate it into the soap. So you still get all your fatty acids and everything that's nourishing for the skin right in here. I guarantee you, I'm taking this home with me. So you just saw me buy my black soap. These are the mints that go with it. What they do is that you lather on the black soap first and then you go on and exfoliate with these mints. Now they're not a natural fiber like a loofah, but what they do, they do a very excellent job in getting off all the dead skin without being too harsh and too raw. They are reusable, which is a really great thing, and I will be taking a few home with me. 
So my time here in America is just come to an end. I had an amazing time exploring the suits and finding new ingredients to take back home to create amazing things for you guys. Make sure to check out www.polishandlavin.com and remember, it's the tab that says on the camera rack. There you'll find all the new products that I've made with ingredients sourced right here in Marrakesh. Also, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel called On the Camera Rack. Ma salama, au revoir, goodbye. Everything that I find, everything that I will make from the ingredients I found here in, Mar in Marrakesh. So I can do it again. You will find. <laughs> Hello, Sama. <laughs> so my time here in Marrakesh is coming to an end. It's been in the. <laughs> has to offer. Remember to check out polishandlager.com where you. <laughs> coming here learning. Uh, I love that black soap so much so I'm going to hunt for it now in a suit. So, let's... Uh, all right, searching the alleys of the suits and trying to find my own bulk. Oh, no. Losing my... Guarantee you will fall just as much as I did. So after searching the miles and miles of mazes of the suits, I finally find it and found the infamous... Oh, I'm going to do it over. To get off all the... I'm trying to get you the small, that's why I'm smaller. No, I don't like it. The very first time today, I will be having my first. Ex ah, no, not the very first time today. Okay, so I'm here at the mom. Um, the mom ex. Mm, okay. Your hair, they do everything for you, and it's just like. Ah! So my time here in America has just come to an end. I had an amazing time exploring the suits and finding new ingredients to take back home to create amazing things for you guys. Make sure to check out www.polishandlavin.com and remember, it's the tab that says on the camera rack. There you'll find all the new products that I've made with ingredients sourced right here in Marrakesh. Also, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel called On the Camera Rack. Ah, Mazala.